Hello everybody. Well, since I made those necessary censorship videos, hundreds of thousands of people have been messaging me, asking me how I was able to download them. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But let me forewarn, it's not an easy process. So if you've got a crappy computer like I do, it's going to take a little while. Now I'm going to try to present this in an easy way, just so you guys get it. Okay, first of all, you will find a video you want to download, obviously. I'm going to pick this little video for the sake of time, the cute warlock baby one. Here it is. What's the lion say? <coughs> What's the kitty say? <coughs> What's the murloc say? <laughs> so, you go ahead and copy the link. This or Control C. And you head on over to videodownloader.net. It's loading. Okay. You paste the link here. And you hit download over here. Thing comes up at the bottom. And there's a download link. You can hit OK to save it if you have Firefox. Um, let's say there's a random file name .flv. As you can see, you can click here to go to your folder. Now the FLV extension is a flash video file. In most video editing programs like Windows Movie Maker, they don't support that. So what you have to do is you have to get a free program called Riva FLV Encoder. So you open that up and here it is, your file. You can either hit browse or you can drag and drop it in. I go down here and you have to rename that to AVI and you can also rename the file my cute baby and you go ahead and click the end code button down here and it might take forever if you've got a big file I, I have a little one so it doesn't take so long and here it is AVI so you can try to play that What's the lion say? What's the kitty say? What's the murloc say? And now we have a problem. If you can get both the video and the sound here, stop this tutorial now. I hate your guts. You have a decent computer. If you only hear the sound like I do, you have a crappy computer. Well, probably a laptop. Uh, but we can work around that. So you can go back to Riva and change AVI to MPG and PEG. And hit encode again. And sure enough, you have an MPG file, so you can play that. And now we just have the video, but no sound. Again, if you get both the sound and the video here, I still hate your guts, so go away. But if you don't, it's okay. We have sound on one and video in the other. So all you need now is an AVI to MP3 converting program best one I found to date is the Video Audio to MP3 Wave Converter. It's a huge name for a pretty cool program. So you can click here and choose the AVI file, not the MPG, and click to convert to MP3. You can give it any name you want. You click Save. It's going to convert. Voila. And you can click OK. See, the problem with this program is that it only converts three minutes of stuff because they want you to buy it to convert the rest. And it's definitely not good enough for like $20 or whatever it's worth. So what you do is you change the start time to three and hit convert again. And you can save it as something else, another file name. Okay, so now we have an MP3 file and we have a movie file. That's the MPEG. So now all you need is a video editing program. And the one that probably comes with your computer, and by far the easiest one to use, is Windows Movie Maker. You can also use Vegas if you have it. Okay, so now we drag and drop our MP3 and the MPEG file into here. You can forget the AVI, it's not important. And if you have a second one, a second MP3 file, you can do that if your video is longer than 3 minutes, but I don't. So you drop your stuff, first the video, and then the sound file into the timeline. And if you zoom in a little, you can see that that program leaves off a little bit. So watch out when you're dropping your second MP3 file. Drop it off, 
you're gonna have to sync the sound in the video a little bit. Now you can play your video. What's the lion say? <coughs> What's the kitty say? <coughs> What's the murloc say? <coughs> okay, so uh, don't worry, your quality is definitely not going to be this bad. It's just my screen capture program that is not that good. Yeah, so that's it, folks. It's my first tutorial. So good luck with this. And start editing some videos.